So here we have a stoichiometry problem asking if 45.5 milliliters of 0.2 molar AgNO3 is mixed with 35.8 milliliters of, of 0.436 molar Na2CrO4, what mass of silver chromate will be precipitated? So this is a limiting reactant problem, meaning that we need to find if either this or this is the limiting reactant. And remember, the limiting reactant is the one that produces the least amount of product, which means that it runs out the quickest, and once there is no more of that reactant left, you can't make any more product. So let's start out with the balanced equation. We have AgNO3, and the other reactant is Na2CO4. And that's going to yield uh, silver chromate, which is Ag2CrO4. And the other product, since these two ions are reacting, these two ions are also going to react. So that's going to be NaNO3. So now I see that we have two silvers on this side of the equation. So I'm just going to write a 2 in front of AgNO3. And it looks like we have two sodiums on the left side, which means we need to add two sodiums over here. So that should be it. We have two silvers, two nitrates, two sodiums, and one chromate. Now, I'm going to use the formula M times V equals moles to find out how many moles we have of each reactant. So let's do that. Um, we have the molarity of AgNO3, which is 0.2 molar, and we're going to multiply that by the volume, which is 0 0.0455 liters. And remember, I'm not writing 45.5 because that's in milliliters, so if we change that to liters, we get 0 0.0455, and now let's see what that turns out to be on the calculator. 2 of 0.2 times 0 0.0455 and that gives us 0 0.0091 moles. Oh, oops. 0 0.0091 moles of silver nitrate. Now let's use this same formula for Na2CrO4. So we have 0.436 molar and we're going to multiply that by 0 0.0358 liters liters cancels out and what do we get 0.436 times 0.0358 gives you roughly 0 0.0156 moles 0 0.0156 moles of sodium chromate. Okay, now we have to keep in mind that what we're looking for is the mass of silver chromate. So I'll just erase the question so we have some more room to work with here. And we're still looking for the mass of silver chromate. All right, now let's finish this up. We have this many moles of AgNO3 and this many moles of Na2CrO4. So whichever one is the limiting reactant will produce the least amount of silver chromate. So now let's see how many moles or what mass of silver chromate will come about when we use 0 0.0091 moles of AgNO3. Now to cross out the AgNO3s, we'll have to use the mole ratio. So it says that we have two moles of AgNO3 for every one mole of silver chromate. So two moles AgNO3 for every one mole Ag2CrO4. And we're going to multiply this by the molar mass of Ag2CrO4 to get grams on top. And the molar mass of silver chromate is 332 grams. And you could check that out on your uh, periodic table if you need to check. So we have 0.0091 times 
332 grams and then divided by two and that gives us 1.51 grams of AG2CRO4. This cancels out, this cancels out, and we're left with grams. So let's do the same thing with um, Na2CRO4. So we have 0 0.0156 moles of that. Na2CRO4. Use the balanced equation again, it's a one to one ratio. And we'll use the molar mass. And um, since this is going to be AG2CRO4 again, we're just going to use the same amount, 332 grams. So that's basically 0 0.0156 times 332. That gives us 5.18 grams of silver chromate. Now obviously this one's the lower amount, so that means that AgNO3 is the limiting reactant and the mass of silver chromate that will be produced is 1.51 grams. That's your answer.